What's good, everyone? Giant opinions, breaking, massive MLB news. The Los Angeles Dodgers are not screwing around. They are spending so much money. They are really trying to win that World Series because they've just signed Yoshinobu Yamamoto to a 12-year, $325 million deal. It's the highest for just a pitcher. Um, beats out Garrett Coles by $1 million, but... I mean, the Dodgers prevail. They get one of the most talented players to come out of Japan ever. We're talking about Yamamoto, who has won the Japan version of the Cy Young Award three years in a row, who has had an ERA this last season of under two, who has the kill pitch in that disgusting splitter, who has a fastball that can rise up to 99 miles an hour, who has a great curveball, who has great command of the strike zone, what does that give you? That gives you an ace. That gives you a guy who you're willing to spend this type of money on. I think it averages to, to around $27 million a year, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. And you know what? I, I do like the signing. Um, there are concerns because apparently the baseballs out in Japan, they allow for better grip. So it's going to be interesting to see the transition uh, by Yamamoto to not only just um, different types of baseballs where it might be harder to grip and you can't use substances uh, like spider tech and whatnot, and that the MLB hitters, I mean, who knows if his performance will translate from the Japan leagues to Major League Baseball because, um, I mean, both leagues are different. They are with the playing style of the players there, but to be fair, Yamamoto has all the tools to succeed and be an ace pitcher. And now the scary thing is you add next year after this upcoming season, because I don't think Shohei Otani is going to pitch. So that's going to make Yamamoto the ace for the Dodgers rotation. But when we're talking about 2025, I mean, you're going to have Shohei Otani. You're going to have Yoshinobu Yamamoto. I'm probably saying his first name so wrong. I'm so sorry. Uh, I just call him Yamamoto all the time. Um, Tyler Glasnow. You're going to have Bobby Miller. Maybe Walker Buehler, he's a free agent, but the Dodgers are probably going to find, they're probably going to spend on like another top pitcher. I mean, this is crazy. And pitching was the biggest weakness of the Dodgers in the playoffs. And you know what? The Dodgers, I got to give them credit. They are correcting it. They have addressed it with Tyler Glasnow and now Yamamoto. They're not afraid to spend. They're willing to, they're willing to put all the chips on the table, man. You know, uh, this makes me sick to my stomach as a Giants fan, but I got to respect it. I respect the organizational commitment to winning. I respect the organizational commitment to their fans to try to get superstars in Los Angeles, a big market city, a baseball city that prides itself in superstars like Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, yeah, Shohei Otani. Now, Yamamoto, I mean, come on, dude. It is ridiculous. It's crazy what they're doing out there. Um, I have been very high on Yamamoto as a pitching prospect. I think he will translate now. His first year in the big leagues, there's going to be a lot of expectation, first and foremost. So that might skew people's opinions when maybe he doesn't pitch up to his ace potential his first year. But by year two, most likely year three, I expect Yamamoto to be a stud for the Dodgers. I expect him to honestly be the ace of the rotation over Otani. I truly do. Um, Otani's a fine, <laughs> he's a fine pitcher. What am I saying? He's a really good pitcher, but the injury history with Otani pitching, I mean, it concerns me. I don't think it's, I don't think it's sustainable long-term. So I think Yamamoto is that sustainable arm and he's also 25 years old. That's relatively young. He's got a fresh arm still. And that's why the, Do I read, that's why the Dodgers are willing to spend so much money on Yamamoto, even with the unknowns of how he will translate from um, Japan League Baseball to Major League Baseball and the talent and technique and skill difference. It's because he's young. He's room to improve. He's time to grow. He's a core piece for the future of the Dodgers. They expect him to, at worst case, be the number two pitcher in the rotation. And you know what? I see that happening regardless. So I'm going to be honest. I'm giving this an A+. Plus. I'm giving it an A+. Plus. Now, there are people on Twitter who are a little butthurt. I mean, Mets fans, Giants fans, Dodgers haters, whatever, man. I think Yamamoto's a stud. I think the Dodgers got one of the best free agents 
And, you know, when you always talk or heading into this offseason, when you talked about the best um, free agents, especially international ones, but even just as a whole, Yamamoto was always, always at least the third best free agent. I mean, he was highly touted and regarded by everybody. And I guarantee you every single ball club would happily take Yamamoto on their roster because he's got great stuff. He's very young. He showed sustainable success in Japan. He's got command of the zone. He's got a kill pitch and the splitter, which is compared to Kevin Gosman's. He's got a wicked curveball, which has been compared to Max Fried and whatnot. That even though Fried isn't, he's inconsistent as hell. But you know what I mean. You get the gist. Yoshi, Yoshi no, fuck, frick, my bad. Sorry, I try not to swear. Yoshi Nobu Yamamoto. He's going to be a name that hitters at the major league level will be fearing for. And I expect him to win a Cy Young with the Los Angeles Dodgers. So let me know what you think about this video. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'm sorry this is a little bit late. I've been traveling all day. Been up since 6 in the morning with 4 hours of sleep. And here I am now. Um, so I will keep on bringing MLB reactions, talking about these free agent signings. If there's any trades... But yeah, let me know if you're a Giants fan too, dude. Man, it's rough. It is rough. If you're a Dodgers fan, damn you. But you know what? Good for you. <laughs> Honestly, good for you. I respect it. Anyways, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.